Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Stella and you are in the glam zone. If it's your first time visiting the day, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. But before you leave, please make sure to subscribe. That way you can join the family and also don't forget to click on the notification button. That way each and every time I upload any new videos, you get first dibs. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I enjoy hanging out with you guys each and every Friday. I'll try to upload videos every Friday or Saturday, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. If you haven't clicked on that bell button below that uh, notification button, please make sure you do. That way you'll get the notification every time I upload a new video. So I will see you in my next video. I hope you're ready to get glam. Let me show you how to get your eyes from looking basic to looking like this. So what you see on my eyelid is actually my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I went with the shade Toffee. It is a much lighter shade than my actual skin tone. It's actually two shades lighter than the foundation color that I use. So without talking much, I'll just get straight into it. The first thing I'm gonna go is, do is go in with my scotch tape and I'm just gonna apply that to the outer part of my eye just so that the eyeshadow does not run over because I'm trying to do a smoky look and these colors are very pigmented. So I go in with my Morphe palette and this is a 35P palette. I am going in with this color right here. Next, I'm gonna go in and diffuse that color, just to make it a little lighter with this uh, color right here. It's called, let me see, Zakia. This is off the Magic palette by Juvia's Place. So it's this orange color right here. And I'm just using a fluffy brush. And I'm going in where the, the purple color ends. That's where I'm applying this orange eyeshadow just to make it a little bit lighter. Next I'm going to go in with the Afrique palette by Juvia's Place. This color, Aya, this yellow right here. And I'm going to put that place at white, close to my brow bone, underneath my brow bone rather underneath my eyebrow. I'm using a precision brush by Real Techniques. This gets in those little tight spaces. Next, I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush and just diffuse the intensity of the colors where they meet, okay? Just so it's not, you don't see a line, but instead you see it going in a gradient. create a cut crease with my Pro Concealer and I'm using a smudge brush. This one is by um, Urban Glow and I'm just gonna create an arch onto which we're gonna put the fun stuff, okay? The glitter and the other lighter colors. And notice I'm just patting it on. I am not rubbing it in. And I'm going a little bit over where um, the crease of my eye is. That way the colors show. with 
Magic Palette again by Juvia's Place and I'm going in with this duck green color and it's called Aja. This right here. And I'm using a shader brush to do this. I'm just going to pat it on to the outer corner of my eye. next with this shade right here it's called Buzo. it's a beautiful green I'm, get, I'm using a smaller shade of brush and I'm trying to go I'm going to try and overlap the two greens okay so it looks like they're transitioning into each other as opposed to just sitting up there on top of each other so I start right where that dark green ends and I keep patting it towards the center of my eye green and this time I am using the Afrique palette by Juvia's Place and it is this beautiful green right here that matches the dress I'm wearing today. This right here. And again I'm just going to pat it on. beautiful yellow color here it has a little bit of shimmer to it and the color is Nairobi that's the city I was born in I love this palette and this is a uh, Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place and I'm using a pencil brush I'm gonna go back with that uh, green just to make sure that they overlap so next I'm going to go in with some glitter and I'm using this uh, chartreuse is that what they call it this beautiful apple green chartreuse color and I will include the link of everything that I use below in the description bar you'll also need a glitter primer I am using this one by elf I'm going to first apply the glitter primer on the areas I'd like to have glitter on and then I'm going to go back in with my glitter and just pat it on. All right, and I take just a little bit onto a brush. And because you put that eyeshadow on there, please don't rub it in. Just pat it on. It's going to take off your eyeshadow that you worked so hard to put on there. It'll help your glitter stick onto your eyes without falling out all over your face and into your eyes. same brush and a pat on that glitter just cleaning the brush off a little bit and I'm taking a little bit and putting it on the lid and that's what I'll pat onto my eyelid I did not put foundation on my face or do the rest of my face before I use a glitter because you will get fallout. So if you do your whole face foundation and all that stuff and you use a glitter, it will fall on there. That's the reason why I'm naked face today. But I will go back in and put in my eyelashes and I am using this one. The other one's already on my other eye by Ardell. I'm gonna pop that on this other eye. I'm gonna put an eye, I'm gonna put some mascara on my eyelashes first before I put this in. I'm also gonna align my eye with a liquid eyeliner. Put this on and I'll be back to show you the finished look. All right guys, now this is the finished look. I am going to look down that way you see what's going on in the eyelid. That's it. And it wasn't so hard. Now that I've finished with the basics videos, I'm going to go into a little bit more complicated 
uh, tutorials, things like cut creases using glitter, and I'll just keep finding new things. If you're interested in seeing something in particular, make sure to leave a comment below. That way I know uh, what video to put out next week because I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it hoping it'll help somebody learn something new to do with makeup. So feel free, leave me a comment below, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.